This is just so key for us to be able to say to somebody that's sitting with us, and, you know, Jeepers, you know, my family is ill and I don't have this or that, and I certainly don't have insurance, I don't have any money, what can I do? And to be able to say, well, <laughs> here's one of the things that you can do. Um, it's just, it helps them feel supported and to be able to move forward. So I'm very happy to learn about you. I'm thrilled that we've been able to move ahead with what's happening at the Baton Kill Valley Health Center. It's huge. When people are coming out of incarceration, one of the services that they do need um, are health services. And in the past, we have had to kind of truck people over the mountain to Wilmington because it was the only services available for folks. And so having this resource available in the community right on this side of the mountain makes it a lot easier for us to um, get folks the services that they need. It was a good first visit. We transferred over because our doctor is retiring. We came because you were accepting new patients. Doctors that take new patients are, are limited. Office hours are limited. It was fabulous. It was fabulous. No waiting, very organized. Um, it, it was great. Uh, there's been a difficulty in getting primary care physicians. And, uh, and truthfully, uh, I, I hear that frequently, is, is how hard it is to get a physician. If you're new to the area or if you need to change physicians for any reason, that could be a real challenge. Uh, we are a rural community. We are beginning to be a bit of an aging community. Um, to have people in town, in close access, that kind of get what we're all about. We know them, they know us. We've referred several uh, folks um, that are, are now uh, being seen at Baton Kill, which has been a big help in helping fill that need. Um, patients are benefited in that they have access to um, nurse case management, uh, social work services, uh, nutritional counseling, and behavioral health counseling. My husband passed away in December, and the people were just wonderful. They were so caring so concerned not only about my husband but about me and my family. It was huge. It was huge because nobody can go through that alone and these people kind of literally and figuratively held my hand. So it was very nice to have that that contact and that care. It was huge. Essentially we've gone from being a sort of 1980s style practice to something that is, I would say, um, modern day. Meets the needs of our patients, the individuals that we serve, and the staff that serve those patients. The Community Cares Building Project will take us into sort of the next um, iteration of Baton Kill Valley Health Center. I've told a lot of my customers about some of the new innovative things that are happening and I'm very excited about it and I think it's hugely important.